hi friends welcome back to angular tutorial in this video i will going to discuss about angular component after seeing this video you will know all about angular component so first we need to know what is component how to create component what is inside the component and where to edit and how to enable the component so we already know about files and folder structure from our previous video so basically component is a block of code which is generally used for some specific task so in more detail suppose you are going to create a project there are some users have some roles should have user list their add page edit page so all are separate separate task okay so you can create component for each and every task so that you can modify easily and you can code easily so here in the folder structure we can see by default we have app so app is our default component so inside the app if you go to this we can see there is app component css app component html app component spec and app component ts so these four are the component files so in a component basically these four types of files are there so component css is the component file so if you go to the app component.ts file you can see so this is the main typescript file of angular so you can see there is a class that is app component this is the main component of angular application and you can see the selector is app root because this is the app and this is the folder so inside the root folder we are getting this app root so the selector is app root you can modify but you have to remember this whatever the selector and you can see the template url basically app.component.html so this is the html file so whatever we can see in the browser so if you go to browser we can see these things all are coming from app component.html file and if you want to decorate or if you want to add some style into this so app component css okay so basically these are the css file of app component so you can include this style url you can see the app.component.css file so basically this is the basic structure of any component okay so now we need to know we can see in the browser this page so my question is how this page are coming so basically this page are coming from this index.html so inside the index.html we can see the app root is included so app root is, is the selector of this app component so whatever we will write inside here means app component.html the selector will be app root and the app root is displayed here that's the reason we can see inside here so now let's create a component and let's try to render this component in this page okay so so to create a component we need to use the simple command so this is the ng service already running our application so just open another tab so to create a component first we need to write ng ng is the command and generate for g and to create a component we need to use c ng g c and suppose my component name is user list so i'm just writing here the user list and just enter this okay so a new component will be created so you can see there are four files are created and one file is updated that is app.module.ts so what is inside this so first go to the browser and here we can see a new folder that is user list is created and inside this we are getting these four files that is the user list component.css user list component.html user list component.spec.ts and user list component.ts so so user list dot component or css is the css file for user list dot component dot ts so if you go to the user list component dot ts we can see all the files are included so user list component html and css so this is user list dot component dot spec dot ts 
basically this is the TypeScript file so whatever we write we can write the test case of this so we can write the test case in the spec.ts file okay so we will discuss later but main focus is inside the user list.component.ts we are getting all the HTML and CSS if you go to the HTML file we can see user list works okay so how this is works if you go to the browser we cannot see so it will not run automatically so we need to write some code to run the component okay and one another things that is the app module.ts is updated so where is the app module.ts so this is basically the files from app folder okay so we can see while we create our component here we can see that it is imported user list component and the full path of the component and along with this a ng module is declaration part user list component also included okay now if we go to the main typescript file that is user list component.ts we can see the selector is app user list okay so we already said you you know to remember the selector so using this selector we can get access of this component so here you can see app user list is a tag okay so first of all we can see these things and and the below section i just going to add the app user list okay so this is my app component html so whatever we are getting these things and in the last section i am going to import our app user list selector okay so now if we go to the browser we can see user list works okay so that means this is the reason to appear of user list component okay so here if you write something different so let's remove some things from here so i just removing all those things and here i am just importing the tag okay and here i am writing some things for app component html so here inside the h1 i am writing this is from app component okay so if we just go to the browser we can see this is from app component and app user list tag is imported basically this is a selector we are imported that's the reason user list works so if you're going to modify some things so just to go to the user list component.html and here something right suppose here right inside the h1 tag so this is from user component okay so you can see it is coming this is from user component so easily we can create a component and we can use from this so now we can understand how to change our app component so this is the base component html file and how to change the new created component file and how to render the components okay so this is the very simple example so in the next video i will going to show you the interpolation section so basically we need to use different types of data so string type data array type data there should be have json type data or any other kind of data so how we use these different types of data using the component and how we can make it dynamic so don't forget to like and subscribe this channel for upcoming video and if you have any queries about this video please comment in a below comment section so thanks for watching this video have a good day